Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of West Ham Fan TV's Monday Musings, the show where I pick you three questions on a Monday and read your Twitter responses out as well as giving my own opinion. And after a disappointing loss to Spurs, I pitted you three questions and my God, did they come in in the droves. Right, so the first question I gave to you is, team below us winning in a tough month ahead, should we start planning for a transfer window with relegation scrap in mind? Now, um, obviously, they lost to Spurs in the last minute. There was a lot of um, a lot of positives in the game. I thought we took the game to them at times when we could. Obviously, Spurs um, are a good side. Uh, there's no denying that as much as you would want to. But they're a good team. Um, they're unbeaten all season. And there's a reason for that because they're a bloody good team. And to be honest with you, we pitted them. Um, you know, it took them the last two minutes of the game to win it. So, um, there is a lot of positives there. Um, there are some negatives as well, obviously. Uh, losing the game in such fashion um, maybe knocks the confidence again. Uh, I don't think some of the decisive play between the forward line, Payet, uh, Zaza, um, especially the, you know, the two moves that they was involved in, um, was good enough, really. Uh, we had numerous chances to kill him off at 2-1. Um, and we, we didn't take them and we ultimately paid. Um, so, with the month ahead, um, you know, we could we could be bottom come Christmas time. Come, you know, after the Arsenal game, we could be bottom of the league. Now, although it's been a bit poor start, I have seen um, results start to pick up lately. Uh, no, not that's wrong to say. Not results, but performances have started to pick up lately. Uh, unfortunately, that one against Tottenham was against a very good Tottenham side. Uh, I believe if that was a, a, a lower team, we would have uh, quite comfortably won the game. But I don't... This is a tough question. And I'm, I ask this. Um, maybe. Maybe we do need to. You know, we need to be safe. That's one thing. And I don't think the owners... Um, <laughs> As much as I, I fought them at times, I don't think the owners are going to let us um, come January, let us slip into that um, mire, you know, not invest in the team. They, you know, they know that we need to be in the Premier League to sustain what we've we've started already uh, with the stadium wise and, and, you know, something to do with the next question as well, uh, potential investment. So they know they, they need to be in the Premier League to do that. Um, so, yeah, I, I think it'll be a mixture. I think it'll be a mixture of uh, trying to get some quality in, um, trying to get some quality in, and and some battlers, some people that really are up for the battle, uh, you know, to really scrap for wins. Because I thought in, at times on, on Monday, I think that's where we really lacked. We really lacked a scrapper, you know, someone to get in amongst it. They they got in amongst it at times when they was uh, down. And, you know, you, you see the results. It... it, it it sort of bullies teams into that. I think they was, you know, tough tackling. And we haven't really got, apart from Nobes, and Nobes was out, we haven't got really got anyone like that. Uh, Reedy and Coyote um, play at the back. But in midfield-wise, we haven't really got any like that. So I can see someone, you know, I could see someone like Joey Barton coming in and doing a job for six months. Um, but, you know, what do I know? We'll see. But should we start putting... We should start thinking about it and we need to um, look at the next few weeks' results. Let's have a look to see what some of you said on Twitter. Um, at DBCWHU said, uh, yes, we need to get a leader on a team as a must, like when we got Lucas Neal slash Kevin Nolan and we'll be okay. I agree with that, mate. Them two players were big, were big um, players when, you know, Lucas, when we, um, when we avoided going down and Kevin and when we was coming back up. Um, at Josh uh, at Josh Wilkie ninety three says the table is so close. Southampton been on a good run and only stand three points above us. Not panicking yet. I was looking at the table the other day and it, it's only sat like seven or eight points that separates us from six. So yeah, there is still there are games in between them as well, like Swansea, Hull, um, Burnley that we can win uh, and you know would shoot us right at the table if we did. Um, at Rob Herditch says. Uh, we need to start holding on to leads and killing off games. So, yes, if we plan for the scrap, we might come out on top. Um, a 
agree with that. At Hammer Shout says, depends on where we are at Exodus, mate. If it's below 15th, then yes. But if we t if we make it to 14th by January, I reckon we're all right. Gio Mackie says, yes, regardless of relegation fears or not, we need to change and recruit hungry players from the Premier League or maybe good championship. You know what? That's a very good point. That There are some very good players in the championship. And if you need scrappers, mate, they can scrap as well. Um, at Hector, WHU underscore Hector says, uh, with a strike, I take Troy Deeney all along. Captain, leadership qualities, pair of bollocks, uh, and his game. That's exactly what we need. Um, I'll take a couple more on this. Uh, at West Ham, Josh V says, We need players who will have an ounce of passion to be proud to play for this wonderful club. At Willie Earn says, Willie Earl says, Surely there are wasting more money on flops and fork out 25 30 million on a striker who gets 15 20 goals. Totally right. Um, I'll take one more. Uh, there, are, there are dozens of comments on this. Dozens of comments. Uh, I'll pick one out at random. At Joshua Lissa says, If Carol Sacco, Ayu and Fletcher are still are all fit, the board will find a way out of getting a striker. Um, let's take one one more from the other side. It's Drew at Drew Braidwood says, No, there is still plenty of time to put things right, but we need a proven goal scorer in January. And that is where we're lacking. I think that's the only position we're lacking. We need a good centre half, a couple of good midfielders, and you know, the lack of striker is, is quite evident to be quite honest. That that comes down. Um, thank you so much for all your comments this week because there are dozens and dozens and dozens. Um, I'm not sure whether it's the quality of the questions or just that you're getting into uh, into the flow of things. Okay, question two. Um, the, the, the question that I picked to you. With the rumours of investment in the, from the Middle East heating up with a possible takeover, would this be welcomed by the fans? And again, this has attracted dozens and dozens of comments um, and they're all pretty much... Um, saying the same thing, you know, <laughs> I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Um, yes, yes, it would be um, uh, welcome. Um, I think personally, and this is my personal opinion, I'm not trying to influence anyone, but I think the board have taken us as far as they could go. They've made mistake after mistake after mistake when it came when it comes to the uh, Olympic Stadium. Um, not saying it's particularly the owner's fault, but it's a lot of people that the the owners do employ that have made mistakes, told lies. Um, their position is coming a little bit under scrutiny um, for the first time since they did. And don't get me wrong, I do appreciate that they saved us. Um, but if we want to move to that next level and make the stadium move, move worth uh, worth the time and, and the effort, um, we really need to start competing for trophies and things like that and competing at the top of the league rather than scrapping at the bottom of it. So, yeah, I, I, it would be welcome to me. Um, as well, you know, you look at... People think about the, uh, you know, the, the, the people from the Middle East, the Arabs and the Saudis coming in, um, and they think that they're just out to make money. When you look at Man City, I mean, they are very respectful to their fan base, very respectful for their fan base. They appreciate the fans. They appreciate the fans coming and watch the football. They seem to have embraced and, and understood the culture. So, um, you know, it, it's not all bad when it comes to them. But let's take some of your comments on this. Um, I'll keep that one short and sweet. Um, uh, Gio Mackey says, in May I'd said no, not yet. Now I welcome it. The board had their chance to shine in the summer and have failed big time. <laughs> I can't agree anymore, mate. Um, Bonds is God at WHUFC Messiah says absolutely yes there is no reason and loyalty or tradition for the new badge and rented stadium um, at Asm WHU FC says I would walk in it um, Sullivan and Co never been able to take us to the next level uh, more investment needed in the club at Tom Down 3 says minimum uh, oh, what does he say he's saying lots of things um, yes I would welcome it even though our owners are rich, I think they're rich on paper and not cash value, so won't spend the money that is needed as they have to keep securing it against things they own. Premier League is moving rapidly. Soon, the minimum transfer will be £20 million a player with a TV money in. Our owners are too tight to potentially waste out on a flop. Big, big, uh, big say there from Tom. I agree, mate. Um, we do need investment to grow as a club. The stadium alone isn't enough if we want to be a real force. I think that's where the board fell down a little bit. I, thought, I think they thought that the stadium alone would attract the big players and 
they ain't worried about playing in stadiums. Stadiums are concrete and uh, you know bricks and mortar, as they say. Um, these players are interested in money. Um, at, at West Ham, Dan sixteen says anything to get the current owners out. If they are always going to sell up, no matter what nonsense they come out with. At Rob Herditch, I for one would welcome it. Could they do any worse? Um, at Hammers at West Ham shout says the ball at the moment aren't fans don't care and don't invest. May as well get the investment side covered. Not ideal though. Um, loads and loads um, of comments on this. At, at is there a feel? Um, City, uh, something I was saying. Um, City are the perfect example of what could happen if we did get Arab owner, owner, owners. Gold and Sullivan can't offer the same. Um, that's that's true. It, there's dozens of comments on here, um, and they're all saying yes. I'll take a couple more. Um, at Dave Ash three, without a doubt, Gold and Sullivan, by their own admission, cannot compete with a super rich elite. Time we were more than poor relations. Um, one more um, uh, at come fly with me 80 the board have taken us as far as they can they can and make promises they can't achieve uh, Sullivan a Turkish lira billionaire so it's you know it seems more or less nailed on people want them gone People want them gone, and I agree. Um, very, very quickly, I've got to do this very quickly, but the third subject um, I'll put it to you is, um, with so many defensive mistakes costing us, could the problem be with the coaching staff? Could it do with a reshuffle? Now, I do believe that it could. Um, the game has changed, and, and, and the way people are coaching has changed over the years. You know, it's not the same as it was when I know people say we've got Slav and Dixie in there, but coaching isn't the same as that. Um, uh, defensive coaching, the way of defending isn't the same. It's 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 evolved a lot over the last twenty years, and I feel that coaching staff should always be looking to evolve. Should always be looking for reshuffles because there's new techniques, new new um, tried and tested methods that come in. Um, there are a lot of individual errors. Um, I don't think that comes down to the coaching per se, but I think every now and then, I think a reshuffle in the coaching staff in football clubs can um, give um, some of the players the, you know, the motivation that they need. I think sometimes it gets a bit stale. Sometimes that's why people move on as well. It gets a bit stale at a club, um, and um, you know, people get bored. So it's always good to do that sort of thing. You know, get a technique, learn it. As the times move on, move on with it. Um, so I think, yes, it could do with a reshuffle. Uh, I'm not sure whether that's anything to do with our current form, but I think they should always do with a reshuffle. Let's take a couple of your comments here. Um, at Gary Millsy uh, disagrees with me. He says, uh, don't think it's a coaching. These are experienced players making basic errors. Um, at Adam uh, WH, uh, Azam WHUFC, we overplay it too much at times. I think it boils down to the fact that the coaching and training must always be focusing on attacking. Uh, I'm not sure, mate, to be honest with you. Um, at then, D DBC WHU, no, we need a right back and get KO back in midfield. He's got some form back. It's true, very true. He's got some confidence back. Uh, at PBM 1968, yes, reshuffle required. I get the impression too many coaches input into Slav. Last 20 plus games, defence been iffy, not as solid. I agree with that. I agree with that. It's only a, a, a change in tactic that sort of got it back on track. Um, at Greg GH ninety WHU, make you wonder what they do in training. Shadow of a defence from last season. Also short corners. Who bright? Whose bright idea was that? Um, at Haldinho, we need a quality right back as much as a striker. IMO uh, before the season started and a bald penny pinched at the expense. Um, lots of comments on this one as well. Thank you so much for commenting on all, all of this because this is a uh, this is massive. Um, the, the show's getting bigger of course obviously that means I can't fit all your comments in but um, at WHU events just you, just getting used to this back three to be honest but someone like Collins is needed to shore up the back line um, Kyoto moving back in the midfield uh, I, I assume um, at Jack WHU Dixon I feel it is to do with the shit substitutions that's cost us too many games but our bench is so weak there's no one to sub on um 
Hammer Ben saying playing midfielders and wingers at right back suggests it's a gap in the squad makeup and obviously not the coaching. Um, at Payno UK, ultimately it's on the players. We've been unlucky with injuries and the depth of the squad is not good enough to cope. Uh, and one more at Alex PB Sports says maybe yes, but I think these individual errors come from the stupidity of our players. So it's a bit of a mixed bag there. Not everyone agreeing that it's down to the coaching, but I, I for one think it could do with a, a reshuffle. Uh, thank you very much for joining us on this week's edition of Monday Musings with me, Nicky Hawkins. Um, don't forget to go and check out Post-Match Pint from the other day. There wasn't um, any fan cams for the day. I think I got one with Dom in Liverpool Street Station and that one got put up. I wasn't going to put that up because it wouldn't be fair to other people. It just makes it look like I'm favouring Dom and the audio wasn't great either, but we've hopefully, hopefully sorted that out uh, now. But um, go and check that out. Go and check out all the stuff um, previous to the Spurs game. There'll be uh, we've got some T-shirts um, from some guys at uh, the Art of Football and uh, a a print from Halley Inc. We'll be reviewing them uh, in the week and, and having a look at them and probably giving them away. To be quite honest, we are. Um, then there'll be previews for the Man United games. The two of them. Uh, Scotty will be doing his preview. Dan will be doing his his um, his uh, FIFA preview and. We will not be going to Old Trafford either time as it happens because we can't do a lot of filming there and, and it's honestly a waste of a trip and, and um, you know, I, I would have gone as fans but Tuesday night I'm not going to do that and Sunday I'd rather sit here, watch the game and film the stuff for you guys. So we might be going down a pub. You can welcome to join us. We might even do some fan cams in the pub. We'll let you know where that is later on. But as I say, thank you very much for joining us on this, this edition of Monday Musings. Um, look out for all the stuff during the week. Go and follow us on Twitter at West Ham Fan TV to put your comments across to the Monday Musings. And one thing left to say, boys, come on, you irons. <laughs>